they did not properly prepare me for this test. Hi, my name is Kat. Hey, we're on our way to the heartbeat clinic. We're going and we're doing a SIBO test. It's some kind of um, small bacterial overgrowth test. I think I got it right. If I didn't, I'll put it up on the screen. But um, I think that's what it says. And basically, it's kind of like um, the test I did with Dr. Matthews at the lab um, where I blew in bags. I drank that weird liquid um, that didn't taste near as bad um, as the stuff I had to drink this morning. That one was thin and it was easier to swallow. I already have a hard time swallow, but today they gave me basically syrup to drink. And um, I didn't get it all in my stomach. So I'm worried I might, might, I might not be able to do this test today. Um, do you know the bottle is, Mom? I had to drink this thing and I probably got maybe half of it in. The rest of it, once I got the rest, the last chug in my mouth, I threw it up. And so since I threw it up, we're not really sure. Uh, my mom thinks I might be okay, but I'm kind of nervous because if it gave me the whole thing, they obviously want me to drink the whole thing. <laughs> Monkeys! But I'm gonna let you watch the part of that that I'm gonna let you see. I'm gonna have to cut out the part of me throwing up, but here you go. I'm really nervous about doing this because um, the last thing I took for a like a breath test was um, with Dr. Matthews. Oh, I can't open this, Mom. Oh yeah, I can. Um, and it gave me an icy flare. Can you give me my drink? You can drink water, right? Yeah, where's my, that bottle, that metal thing right there? <laughs> but I have to drink this whole thing. Shots, 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 No? I don't think so. Whoop, whoop. Ah! I don't wanna do this. I need, I need like, can I not drink it with Dr. Pepper? Mm-mm. No food, only water to drink before and during test. So the faster, the more you think about it, the harder it's gonna be, just do but it. It looks like tar in there. Just because the bottle's brown. It's to keep, it light ruins it. It's not that bad, but I still don't like it. It's like you're in- You need to do the trash can over here. I got maybe like two gulps down. It's thick is the problem. How much do you think you got in there? Two, maybe three milliliters. So maybe like that much of it? A little bit more than that. A little bit like that much of it? Okay, that's good enough. Bring the, bring the bottle and we'll tell them. I'm sorry. That's all right. I still got throw up in my nose. Anyway, I am gonna be doing a breath test like I did with Dr. Matthews, so I am worried. So I am worried that my um, chest is gonna hurt more than it already is. It's been hurting um, quite a bit this morning, so I am nervous, but I'm still gonna do it. We'll figure out how it goes. Today I only have one test, thank goodness, because um, I'm gonna need to rest after this breath test like I did the last one, and that one wasn't even a, the long one. I only had to do it twice. I'm gonna have to be doing it over a course of three hours, right? Yeah, three hours, so my chest is gonna be dead, but I'll update y'all later. Hopefully I can record this. If I can't, I apologize. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're doing the breath test and she doesn't mind me recording it, so it doesn't look like it's gonna be too much of just what I just showed you. This little toilet paper roll thing is my mouthpiece. So, yeah, looks like you get to watch my journey today. Yep. I oh, hurts my lungs. That's about it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So that's all it basically was. I did it every 20 minutes, and um, 
after the third time I believe it was I stopped recording because they did not properly prepare me for this test they did not tell me what I was going to experience and I'm gonna be very honest with y'all so if you don't want to talk about poop you should probably click off this video because this whole video is basically about shit uh, so yeah but um basically they gave me like this sugar stuff to drink and I had to drink a second one when I got there and I didn't um, record that because it was very hard to keep it down and I had to do it very very small sips my mom tried to get me to chug it the first time and I think that's why I threw up because I was having a hard time um, swallowing and so I had a bunch stuck in my mouth and then I had that stuck in my mouth and then my body decided to throw up the stuff that I already dr like drank so that was a very fun experience <laughs> um, but I was in the bathroom constantly basically to the point where they had to keep like changing the time because they have to do it every 20 minutes I had to do that breath thing and um, every time I was in the bathroom and they couldn't get me to do the breath thing they had to restart the time over which wasn't fun so um, honestly if you don't wear diapers you're probably gonna need to wear diapers for this test um, just to be on the safe side of it um, if you don't you know it's not gonna be the end of the world I guess but bring, bring a pair of underwear just in case um, it was very very painful I also recommend bringing like baby wipes um, because your butt is gonna be hurting after a while because it was just like explosive diarrhea for three hours and when I got home I still had diarrhea we had to stop like I think two times on the way home just for me to go to the bathroom and I'm getting really dizzy but it wasn't fun and I think they honestly should have told me to ex that I was going to experience that because I asked her I'm like hey TMI but I'm getting a lot of fucking diarrhea and she's like oh yeah that's normal I'm like you you couldn't like tell me beforehand like that's some, this is some stuff that you should have been prepared for if I was prepared I would have brought in more diapers not that I needed them but just to be on the safe side because there was one time that I did have to change myself and I don't have um, I only have urinary incontinence normally so this was a different experience for me um, I had run out of baby wipes so I would have brought in extra baby wipes and I would have brought in um, what do you call it? Vaseline um, normally I don't bring that my mom had to go to the drugstore beside the um, doctor's office just to get me Vaseline so it was really bad because my my butt was not happy this this test was not fun this test was not fun at all and I'm ignore my dog he won't shut up the mailman's outside and he won't like stop barking he thinks he's a the biggest dog ever so um yeah I'm very dizzy today um probably because of the test because I lost like a shit ton of water doing this test um they totally should have prepared me for this because I, I didn't come to the doctor prepared I came to the doctor prepared for entertainment I thought it was gonna be an easy ass test um, but it definitely wasn't uh, so yeah if you do a SIBO test which is small bacterial overgrowth I think SIBO or SIBO? I'm saying, I said it the same way. I said it, pronounced it differently in the beginning of the video, but I think it's called SIBO. I don't remember how I pronounced it in the beginning. I think I said SIBO. I don't know which one it is, but I think it's SIBO. Either way, you get the point of it. I'm having, I'm going to be starting like bleeping out my cuss words, like muting them or bleeping them out. But anyway, like prepare to poop a lot. You're going to like, this, this test has to do with poop. Um, but I didn't realize that I was going to have diarrhea like I did. I've had diarrhea when I was sick before, and I get diarrhea every now and then because of IBS. But this was freaking different. This was... This was very different. Very, very, very different. So just, just be prepared if you have to do this test. Um, baby wipes, possibly diapers if you think you might need them, and, um... Vaseline for sure because your butt is gonna be raw at the end of the day No way to put that nicely So I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Don't forget that. I love you. Thanks for staying up live Remember, you know your body better than anybody else. So please listen to it and I'll see you next time. Bye